Tonight, a suspect is finally in custody after a series of terrifying attacks on women on the, on the north side of Chicago. One of those cases caught on video. And tonight, we're hearing from one of those victims. NBC 5's Natalie Martinez joining us live with the update tonight. Natalie? Stefan, and we know tonight that charges are pending for that potential suspect, that woman that's in custody. Many hope that this will mean an end to the terrorizing of women here on the northwest side. Still traumatized, she's not showing her face, but her story is harrowing. The victim was getting some exercise at a school near Campbell and Wilson on Sunday around 2.30 p.m. I took a step forward and she pulled me down by my ponytail um, to the f to the ground um, on, and I was on all fours. She ripped my shirt, scratched a little bit of the right side of my neck. Um, but then she left. Just around the corner from the school, seemingly straight out of a horror movie, there she was again and was like, I'm not done with you. A good Samaritan driving by answered the victim's cries for help. I finally said, I'm a mom, I have kids. And she was like, oh my God, get in my car. And she drove me home. That was one of two wild attacks Sunday. On Tuesday morning, a second spree began around 11.30 a.m. on Mozart at Sunnyside. The cell phone call, said a female just got out of a white car and started hitting two other females with a bat. Two sisters with an infant in a stroller attacked by a woman wielding a metal baseball bat, caught on cell phone by a neighbor. To see an infant in a stroller is any mother's worst nightmare. Ten minutes later. New to the board assault just occurred. 4150 Campbell said unknown female got out of a car trying to hit caller with a bat. Police believe the same woman driving the white sedan is behind at least 10 attacks on women on the northwest side. I saw her in the video. I saw the vehicle in the video and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not a one off thing. It was a it was a string of of events. The alderman's office has posted in part that the potential offender has been taken in for a mental health evaluation. No charges tonight, but police do tell us the charges are pending. We're live at District 17. Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News. Natalie, thank you.